Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotech Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Laravel admin plan development beginner tutorial and this is our partner 41. Inside this video session guys, we are going to make our final steps towards our project completion. And also guys, if you are a beginner to the channel then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about Laravel admin panel development tutorial. Up to part number 40, all we have completed about the several major functionality of our admin panel and the project has been completed up to part number 40. All the codes has been commit to this GitHub repository. You can download all the codes by going through this link and if you go to slide, this is the GitHub repository where you can actually download all the codes what we did up to part number 40. So how basically we can find our code updates if you go to browser. Now click on the commit section. Right now there is 36 commits. It means that we have committed code up about 36 times. So at the last stage, we had done about the commit called class assignment and the image, image height and width. So if I scroll down, as we can see that in our last video session, we have actually added two things about like a style, height and width, scroll here. We had done code about the class name and the section name of the class listing what we have seen and also we have added about the height and width attribute about the faculty sections. So these are the sections that we have updated. So how can we find the complete code? So back here. So if this is our commit head. If suppose you want to download the latest code about the part of 40. So just click on this head link. After clicking on that you need to click on the browse files. So if I click on the browse files, now you can get all the complete project from here. Just either by clicking on this download zip or you can just make git clone and this is the command. So if I copy this command back to slides, you need to write only git clone and this is our github repository. So basically this is the command either you can hit or you can just download by clicking on this button called download zip. This is all about the downloading code from the GitHub repository. Now let's overview about what are the functionalities that we have implemented inside this admin panel. Means what are the Laravel functions, what are the Laravel provided things we have used. So if we back to our slides. So the concept is first of all we have when we built actually this project we have used about the concept of called migration. So we have used the concept of migration by using this concept. We have made all the tables as you can see inside this Laravel admin panel table. Sorry, it's database. So all we have done inside our migrations chapter. Now after migration, what we have done? We have inserted our dummy values. We have inserted our fake lab data. So for that, we have used called db seed command. Means we have used the seeder concept. After seeding all the fake data inside our database tables, we have made our views file after login. So for now, here what is the concept behind this form? We have used a middleware. So if I write it here, so let's say that we have used called middleware and also we have used our custom guard. So let's say that custom guard. After putting these functions, when I suppose log in by using credentials our admin dashboard. So let's say online one two three enter and this is our dashboard. So inside this dashboard first of the first of all the functionality is about the logout section. So we have implemented that. So if I write it here let's say that logout function. After logout function we have prepared our dashboard. Inside this dashboard this is the section that we have implemented called class called faculty and called the student page. So if I open the page called add section, inside this page if I click on the submit button, this is the validation messages. So we have prepared about, let's say that validation error messages. Back to admin panel. Now let's say that section A and if I click on the submit button, the section has been submitted. If we go inside list sections, this is the concept of Yajra box that we have implemented inside our application. So the next concept that we have built about, let's say that Yajra box. This is a server side data table. 
So this is the concept that we have implemented back to admin panel. Now inside this, we have these buttons. Either we can delete or edit. Back to our next, we have called add class. Inside this add class, if I click on submit button, these are the validation messages. Again, if I write some of the values inside these boxes, let's say that class name is something 10 and section is A and the seats available that we have inside our class is 40. So if I click on submit, so this is the data actually we have submitted to our database table, something we have called TPL classes. So this, this is all about the data. Back to admin panel. Now, the thing we have covered about the submitting our request to save the data is about called request submission. This is the next concept we have covered while developing our concept. By the help of this request submission, we have inserted our data to database table. Next. This is about the Yaja box listing again for the classes. Back to our faculty. Inside this faculty, we have made our submenu for add faculty type. It means that we have suppose multiple faculty types in our school. Suppose some, some of the teachers are for the sports, some of the teachers for the are the lecturers, some of the teachers are for librarians and several. So add faculty type basically let's say that this is all about sports teacher. This is basically a faculty type. So if I click on submit, data has been submitted. Again, if you go to list types, this is all about the staff types. Next what we have, we have called add faculty. So inside add faculty, we are going to add a faculty in our school. So first of all, we have to select that what basically the faculty type is. So this is all about a sports teacher. And let's say that name is something Sanjay. Um, email dummy value, let's say sanjay at gmail.com designation, it's about the sports let's say that certification and also phone number something dummy value and inside that gender is male and all about the address something let's say test address and status should be active so if I click on the submit button faculty has been created successfully back to our list faculties and this is the data but right now we haven't inserted any image for this faculty so that we are getting a blank image back to our add student page inside this add student we can register any student for our school so if I click on submit button these are the validation messages so let's get started about the values for this student so let's say ST1006 mail and let's say that current and email should be something dummy value we are going to insert raw number is something 12 phone number is something dummy value and the address something let's say test address we are not going to select any image father's name let's say ABC DEF next what we have got a student age so let's say that this student should be about 17 years old and class is about 10 and section is A it means that we are going to insert this student inside the class called 10A and status is active. Click on submit button. A student has been created. So if you go to on the list of students, as we can see that this is all about the information of a student and this is a student registered inside our class, class section called 10A. All the sections we have covered about this application. So while going through this, these steps, as we have remembered that in the last video we have updated our table, so updated table concept by using our table flag, what we have seen. So these are the things guys that we have covered. So back to application, inside this application, why actually we had built this application? So this is basically to manage a school. Inside a school, as we know that there are several fields that we have to manage. But for the concept, for the development, we have picked only the three major functionalities from our school. First of all, we have picked about the classes. Then we have picked about the faculties. After that, we have picked about student section. As we know that apart from these concepts, we have multiple sections we should manage in a school application about something including called fee management, exam management, library management, sports management, several things we have to cover. So not going to all the actually major functionalities, we have completed only the three major functions of our school. So still, we have some about 
the missing concepts inside this school application so you need to complete before this so what will be the rest part so rest part you need to complete about this application this is your homework and about the profile page if I click on this profile section you need to show about the logged in current logged in user profile here this is the first task next if I redirect to the dashboard so if I get rid of this this is our dashboard so right now there is no code for this listing total counts of sections total count of classes faculties and students so you need to make a command so that it will get the count of sections classes faculties and students which will be used to list all these data inside this dashboard this will be the second task of your homework next as we have seen that we have actually implemented about the edit concept in of in few of the sections like class and I think that classes not about the faculties and for the students so you need to implement about the edit concept edit concept for this faculty and for the student section this will be your third task of your homework rest you can implement as you as part of your application suppose if you want to implement about the next sections of this school application what we have discussed about the fee examination sports library and so on you can just go ahead and complete this application as part of your thought so basically i have given about the major functions of this school management application and also we have discussed about the several functionalities by the help of these laravel concepts actually we can implement about the major concept and major functions about a major application so inside this video session guys now this is my final word to complete this project that you can just go ahead and complete your project as per your thought and make build about this application into a vast application so from the next video guys we will create a new playlist of a new tutorial so if you have any doubt inside this video session guys or any of the concept inside this laravel admin panel development you can put your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day